Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Welcome back, guys. I I'm so happy that you decided to click on yet another Legend of Dragoon video. This one being episode 21, if I'm not mistaken. In the last episode, we went and head over to the home of Gigantos where we defeated Garich, putting a stop to the entire Garich gang. We defeated Mappy as well. And of course, Kongol joined our party. We recovered the Red Dragoon spirit and we uh, saved Lin from a horrible fate at the hands of bandits. So, all in all, pretty pretty busy episode. Uh, so, I I kind of warned you guys that I was going to be spending a lot of time grinding when I was when I was done with that episode. And uh, well, I, I I hope I didn't disappoint. Let's just let's just put it that way. So, first off, we are going to look at who's in my party right now. It is Rose and Hashel. Uh, not that big of a deal, but the big deals here are that Rose is now learning Hardblade. I maxed out more and more. Hardblade is now being learned. We're six out of 20. Uh, it took some time getting used to that one, but I think I have it down. And uh, our friend Hatchel here is learning Summon Four Gods, who is now 59 out of 60. This one also took some time to get used to, but I think I got it. Uh, and <laughs> I don't even want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't even. Uh, and then, of course, I also did a little bit of work on Miru and uh, a little bit of work on Kongol's edition, which you haven't seen before, but it is called Pursuit, and it is very, very easy. Kongol actually only gets three editions in the entire game, so uh, we're actually looking pretty good on that front. Now, here is the big grind, the big deal. You may notice that there is a new spell listed for Mr. Dart here, the magic level four, the red-eyed dragon, our final magic attack that we can get in Dragoon. This is his most powerful, final burst is better, uh, but this is his most powerful. There's actually a glitch in the game that makes red-eyed dragon not as strong as final burst. And of course, final burst uh, is a 30 base MP, which is much better. And it's a single target, uh, red-eyed dragon, of course, being uh, multiple people. So I wanted to show that we had that, which will be very useful in a upcoming fight. And then we also got Shana or Shauna to Dragoon level five, meaning that not only is her Dragoon level maxed out, but she also has her final magic, the White Silver Dragon, uh, which will be incredibly useful in a boss fight later on. I can't wait to show you guys it. Uh, and then, of course, Rose uh, is Rose. We haven't really... She hasn't done anything yet. Uh, and Hatchel being Dragoon level 4 now and has the Thunder God magic, which is a very strong single target spell. Uh, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited to have those. And, of course, Miru isn't a Dragoon and neither is Kongol. Until this episode. That's right. In this episode, we are going to get Kongol's... Uh, his Dragoon spirit. The earliest possible way you can get it in the entire game. And it's actually, like... If you didn't know that you could do this, you wouldn't get Kongol as a Dragoon because the game does not tell you that this exists. I just want you to know that. Also, uh, I said that I would be doing some big grinding when it comes to the enemies in this area, and that wasn't to get anything, uh, get any experience or additions or anything like that. No, 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 no. Instead, uh, it was to get... Right, well, first of all, I should talk about this real quick. You might be wondering why I, why I have so many bastard swords, and I promise it's not because I am a bastard, which I am. Uh, but it's because when a crafty thief steals from you in this area, they say it steals 50 gil. When you kill them and you get it back, you actually don't get the 50 gold back. You get a bastard sword instead, so keep that in mind. Uh, so the big, the big deal here, let me sort this is we actually got, uh, not only do we get the Diamond Claw from Garich or Mappy in that boss fight, but we also got the Soul Headband. If we go ahead and look at that, I realized I didn't show that at the end of the last episode. I'll, I'll get into that in a second. First, I want to take a look at the Energy Girdle. This is an, uh, an item that has a very low drop chance from the Berserker enemies that you can find in this area. It is only equivocal by Hatchel, and of course they dropped three of them for me. Uh, that gives 50% more SP when equipped, which is obviously incredibly, incredibly strong. We also got the Soul Headband for Hatchel from the boss fight. When magically attacked, SP is accumulated. Very, very, very good. Uh, I want to point out, though, that this stuff, the items that we got for Hatchel, are not attainable until level uh, disc 3. So we got that in, like, the middle of disc 2. We are looking very, very good, my friends. Very, very good uh, on on the Hatchel front. All right, so those are really the ones that I wanted to show you. The other thing is Bandit's Ring. You'll see that we actually have three of them now, uh, and that is because I did get a drop 
off of one of the one of the uh, the gangster enemies that you can find in this area. So I did get a, a bandit drop uh, ring as well. Now, I have been in here for quite some time. You'll actually see my plate is 43 hours. Uh, I think when we last did the boss fight, it was 37. And I have not gotten a single sachet from any enemy at all in the area. Uh, so I do not recommend getting those. Um, you might be able to try for it, but I don't recommend it. Anyways, we want to leave here. And we have a lot of backtracking to do. Uh, one of those, one of which is going through Volcano Villoot. So I will see you on the other side, my friends. I said Volcano Villoot. This is the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, you idiot! Why did I, why did I call this Volcano Villu? That makes no sense. Anyways, uh, that was way more straightforward getting out of there than I thought it would be. So let's cross the valley mountain peaks. Oh my God. Now, something else that I want to mention is that I am still farming for the bemusing arrow that you can get from the enemy, the arrow shooter. Uh, but I'm having very, very bad luck just encountering that enemy. Uh, so I, I it's like a, a kind of a secondary thing. Oh, look at that. I was just saying that I was having damn trouble. Anyways, these guys do give the bemusing arrow, which is a weapon for Shauna. Um, it's very, very rare. Uh, and in fact, we can get it in a town that's coming up soon. So it's not a huge deal, but it is something that I would, I would like to get. That'd be nice. Come on. Watch it drop right now, man. Watch it drop right now. Come on, baby. Give me that bemusing arrow. Whatever. It's actually funny that I just said that because now I'm actually having like decent luck finding the arrow shooters right here on this road between uh, the Barrens and the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. So maybe it's worth searching here for these. Well, uh, I'm going to continue on with what I was going to do. And I have a plan. Friendos, trust me, I have a plan. I know how we're going to I know how we're going to do this. Just get, you'll see. Anyways, we want to head back into the Barrens uh, because Lynn has to go back to Danau. Hey, we'll be in Denal soon. Go home quick to her, you handsome man. Kate's worrying. Dart, I cannot thank you enough, but I have to say it. Thank you. Now Denal is saved. It's just the beginning. The mayor must be taking action now in response to your courage, Lynn. Finally, that mayor is taking action. Thank you for your guidance, Miru. What are you talking about? It's not over yet. What? Dart's journey won't be easy. What you guys do is not normal. Monsters like Virage appear, Dragoons, Gigantos. I thought they only existed in fairy tales. I can't explain it, but I think there will be a lot of things I can help you with. So why don't we go to Fletz now? We can't procrastinate like this, right? It'll continue to be like a traveling three ring circus. All right, I'm going. Say hello to Kate. Please come to our wedding. I'm having it tomorrow if it's possible. Bon voyage. All right. Here's the deal. Here's the deal, team. We actually want to follow Lynn right away to Denau because there's actually a scene that we can get uh, now if we go. And you're right. It's the wedding. And we want to go this way uh, because there's actually a, a unique key item that we could potentially get from doing this uh it's it doesn't do anything it's not it it has literally no gameplay value whatsoever uh but it is an item that you can get and therefore i'm me and we gonna we gonna get it man i love this place so much anyways looks like looks like there's a wedding going on you must be the people who lynn invited the ceremony's reaching a crescendo right now it's getting fun haha <laughs> I'm never doing that voice again. That's right. We get to witness Kate and Lynn's wedding. Oh. Now you'll want to pay attention. There's going to be a button prompt on screen. You're going to want to make sure that you get it. It's time for the couple to come out. How cute. Look, she's throwing the bouquet. <gasps> oh, Dart pushed Shauna so she could get it. Thank you. 
And we acquired Kate's bouquet. Guys, you know what that means? Dart and Shada gonna get it! Married, gonna get married. Thanks to you, the city reclaimed its peace. I cannot explain in words how much I appreciate it. We just went to get something important back. It is due to your and your people's efforts to bring the city back to normal. No. It was you who imparted us the courage to do it. We are wondering if you would like to settle here now that peace is returned. Whoa. Hey, whoa. I just got a bouquet, man. I, 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 I you know, you guys got some different customs here. I was just, we got, I got, I got to go. I understand. It's a shame, but you have to do what you have to do. We don't know what you have to take care of, but we know that you can complete anything you want. Good luck. I'll be praying here along with the baby I'm expecting. Oh, she's pregnant. Mazel tov. So we can go ahead and talk to them if we want. I hardly saw Mr. Lin's wedding. Why, were you crying? Who could imagine that peace would come back to the city in a few days and Lin would be able to have a wedding? I was surprised when I came back to Danau. Everybody in the city got together and kicked out the gang. Yeah, they did, man. Woo! All right, so one of our little objectives that we could do is now a Fenny. Uh, so I don't think the letter would still be here if you didn't get it earlier. But anyways, if we go to down to goods, you will see that we now have on this side, <laughs> Kate's bouquet. Good luck bouquet thrown by Kate at the wedding. So uh, like I said, it's nothing, it's not a, listen, it ain't a big deal, it ain't no thing. Uh, but it is cool that this was like a little extra scene that we got to get just because we went a little out of our way and some of the dialogue um, will be different now as well. They'll talk about how the, the adults got together and they kicked everybody out and you know, uh, everyone everyone's very happy now, right? Beautiful place is beautiful. No more thugs walking around. Still cannot believe we were able to kick out the gang by ourselves. So yeah, it's like a nice little, oh my God, the wedding of Lynn and Kate is already over. Did you miss it? I made the bouquet. Oh, we have that. It's ours now. Anyways, so yeah, I just, I listen, I think it's cute. You can go in and talk to more people if you want. Um, like I said, there's nothing, there's nothing a big story here. They had a wedding. Uh, you can talk, you know, it was a fabulous wedding. It sure was. Marriage is the start of life. The most important thing is to positively go forward together. The start of life? Oh, man. Anyways, we have saved now. Love has blossomed in the city of blossoms. And uh, we're going to head out. Now, we're actually not going to be grinding for the bemusing arrow just yet. Uh, because I we're going to go through the barrens, but we're not going to flats. No, 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 no. Instead, we're going all the way back to the south of Sergio to head to Lohan. There's also a unique monster that I want to show you guys on the road between Lohan and the Dragon's Nest that I actually just didn't show you guys way back. Um, it slipped my mind, to be totally honest with you. So we're going to show that today. Also, we're not just going to Lohan right now. I'm also going all the way back to the forest, which... I know that's really, really far. Trust me, I don't want to do it. But we gotta. There we go. This is the unique enemy that I was telling you about. The one we missed uh, talking about in our initial trip over to uh, the Lohan, the, the Nest of Dry, that area, right? Uh, so anyways, this is the Cursed Jar. It's not one that I would recommend farming, only because as you just saw, it actually did the really superly duperly annoying uh, physical attack barrier, which means that we are not going to be able to hurt this thing. We only do one damage to it, and we have to use physical attacks. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the six stone as always, and then we're going to go ahead and use speed up on Shauna because Shauna has the most like the most likely the most likelihood the best chance of actually hitting the target. This is its first cannot move. Mem that's its second. Great. This is going well already. <laughs> My God. All right, we got one damage on the sucker. It's got three more health. Oh, I missed my addition. Oh, well. All right, that was its third. Dart, I need you to spank him. Perfect. And let's hope that Shauna gets a turn before the curse jar so we can wrap it up. Of course you attack Shauna. Of course you attack Shauna. Y'all, 
You missed! Shauna, take it down! Perfect. Curse Jar's down. Another unique monster in the bag. This one rewards 300 XP, which is why at this point of the game, it's definitely not worth farming. But it does have a chance of dropping that magic item right there, the Night Raid, which is a uh, fixed damage uh, darkness spell. Uh, and uh, one of the few ways in the game that we can actually get a Night Raid. So it's pretty cool to get one. Right then and there. All right. Now, the real reason we came, my friends, is we are going to head into Lohan. Now, before you do this, it is very, very important that you have a thousand gold. You need a thousand gold before you come here. Super, super important. Or else you will not be able to buy the item that we have for sale over here. Ah... Our vendor friends. Hey, you, walking over there. Hey, didn't we talk the other day? Come on, I've got great stuff. Why don't you take a look? <laughs> look at this stone. Just the right roundness and size. It's very elegant. A great bargain. How about a hundred G? A hundred G for a stone? I cannot believe it. Hey, you, don't touch that. What? It's too much of a coincidence. Hmm. Step up, step up. This is the much talked about Shining Miracle Stone. Any illness or anxiety disappears instantly when the stone shines. A miracle, a mystery. I'm making a limited offer now for a thousand gold. How about that? No, Rose, 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 Rose. Chill, dog. It's business. That's life. So go ahead and talk to him. How do you like this? The Shining Miracle Stone. I'm making a limited offer now for a thousand gold. I'll take it. You cannot get a discount on this. Yeah, thanks. Now you'll have good luck. Guys, my friends, we just acquired the Golden Dragon Dragoon Spirit. That means that Kongle, the newest member of our team, is in fact a Dragoon, which we can go ahead Go look at him. He has Grand Stream. One of the... Well, anyways, we are going to go ahead and put him in our party now because uh, we don't really care about Shauna now because not only is she Dragoon level 5, but also we're not hunting for... We're not going after that unique monster. I don't think so. No way. So we want to leave Lohan, but I'm actually going to take some time now to go to the forest. I know that sounds wild. Uh, but that is, my friends, where I need to go, which is actually very easy to get to. We just go this way. No. Guys, don't, don't make the same mistake I did. Don't go to the forest. Please, I beg of you. Don't go to the forest. The vendor that sells the thing I wanted. Well. He doesn't. He doesn't exist. He doesn't exist. Listen, I had a backup plan. I went to the north of Sergio because we're going to go into here, the marshland. Because, listen, I, 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 I need, I'm going to get some burnouts for a boss that is coming up. Okay, I need burnout. But I don't have any, and there's nowhere to buy it yet. So I need to look for a enemy called the Sea Dragon here in the marshland so that we can get some, uh, some burnout. And it is a 10% drop from this sea dragon enemy. So hopefully this goes pretty quick. So if you also need burnouts, I've discovered that this final uh, map of the marshland seems to have the best encounter rates with the sea dragon. Yeah, all right. That's one burnout. One or two more to go. Why not? An hour and a half later, and I still don't have my second burnout. Okay, I mean, how long is the game potentially going to hate me, right? Oh, 
Come on, baby. Just give me one burnout. That's all I need. Just one. Just one. Yeah, I got two. All right. I am out of here. Oh, my God. Too many. I, yes. Oh, jeez. Just get rid of. I don't even. Oh, no. Oh, God, my inventory was full. Let's just get rid of. Just get out of here. Yes. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if I did all that and I didn't? Guys, I that literally took an hour and a half to just to get just to get another burnout drop. Absolutely wild. But I think my friends that we now have three burnouts. That's more than good enough. All right, watch, watch this, watch this. Ready, ready? We're gonna we're gonna cut. Watch, ready, ready, and we're here. That was so entirely unnecessary, but I have to show you uh, Kongol's Dragoon form because we spent all this time going and getting his Dragoon and I, I, I feel I owe you, uh, I, I at least owe you that, right? So we're gonna hope uh, that we get into an arrow shooter here. Reminder, I will be grinding that out off screen so you won't have to watch me do that, uh, but we are gonna be trying to get that uh, just because it doesn't really matter, but I do want to get it. In the next episode, we will be heading over to Fletz, and we will be uh, revealing that Princess Emile is not who she says she is, or Emily, I don't really know. And uh, that's very exciting, because that means that the story is really going somewhere uh, now, and, and I'm very, very excited. All right, so let's have these guys guard. We're going to show off Kongles. Dragoon, which he's already leveled uh, Dragoon level 2 just from all of the grinding that I did for burnout, which is which is pretty wild. So let's go ahead and check him out. Wow. Easily one of my favorite transformations. I think it's so cool that he like pulls all of everything. Uh, looks so good. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have any MP, so we won't be able to see Grand Stream. But I will be able to show you his monstrous attack that he does. Perfect. <laughs> It missed! Oh my god, but I got a perfect... Oh, this game hates me. It's late. I need to go to bed. But we're gonna finish off this stupid little fly thing. Oh, also, uh, our buddy Hashel got a new... Got a new, uh... A new addition. Maybe... Maybe we can... Maybe I can show that. Let's see if I don't mess this up. Of course I did. Either way, it, ex it exists. Uh, all right, thank you guys so much for watching this this little backtracky episode I hope that uh, if you never knew that if you've played this game before and for whatever reason You never knew that uh, there was actually a dragoon spirit hidden in Lohan for Kongol uh, Then uh, you know, I'm glad I'm glad I was able to teach you something, you know I'm glad you was able to learn something from the video and I appreciate you guys hanging out like I said, in the next video, we'll be hanging at, uh, we'll be going into Fletz and we'll be uh, uh, doing everything that happens there, which is actually going to lead us into a big, big old story that I really can't wait for. And trust me, we've done the prep for it. We're ready. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Remember, uh, patrons over on patreon.com slash missile online, they get early access to these videos a couple days before they come out here on YouTube. Uh, but I really do appreciate you guys watching either way. And if you did like the video, you should throw it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, obviously you should do that. Uh, but only if you like the content. Again, thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to the stupid grind in this game. Bye.